Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Lydia Winters. It's the saddest time, the time when we have to say goodbye to each other. It's always the worst. We've made new friends, and now we have to split up and go to all of our 73 countries that we came from. But who had an amazing time this weekend? So someone suggested this, and I thought it was a really fun idea. They told me on Twitter, they said, what if you had everyone hold up their pickaxes and swords and kind of wave them around so that it looked really amazing? There are a lot of, wow, whoa! Okay, it really does look amazing. It looks super awesome. So Minecon takes, okay, you may stop the waving. Um, great work, guys. Team effort. So, Minecon takes a lot of work to put on. So we're going to start by some thank yous and recognition to all the amazing people who helped this weekend go as well as it did. The first person I'm going to ask to the stage is Mr. Vu Bui, our COO and the kind of man who ran Minecon. Mr. Bubui. Hello, sir. This is it. It's so sad. It is so sad. But everyone here has been so happy all weekend, so it's not that sad. Maybe not. I would say this is most definitely the best Minecon ever. Who agrees? Every year we try to make Minecon bigger and better than the last year, and not just by increasing the number of tickets we sell. We've spoken to a lot of people this weekend, and amazingly enough, a lot of you here were at previous Minecons and have come year after year. And we'd like to talk a little bit about what it takes to actually make this event and the people that go into making it so amazing so that everyone can enjoy it over this time. Hey, Vu, how about we see how many people have been to another Minecon, a second one, and this is their second time. Wow. Wow, that is a lot of you. Considering how hard tickets are to get, that is amazing. Great job, guys. So the first person I want to thank, you know, every year Lydia and I have produced Minecon for four years now, and it is a tough job. And this year we thought we'd bring on some amazing help and one of our Mojangsters, Lisa Kempe, came on as project manager for Minecon this year and will be working on, with us on Minecon for all the future years that we can work together. Lisa, stand up. Oh, look at this lady. She did an amazing job. Without her, Minecon would not have been what it was. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Next, I'd love to thank Multiplay. You know, they've been with us for a long time now, too. Over three years. I think they've heard of them before. Multiplay helped organize the entire convention. They also run an amazing tournament stage. That's all them. It is so great, and I know so many people got to enjoy that. How many of you played in the tournament area? Okay, How yeah. How about the voices? Right? So thank wow, you, Multiplay. Okay. <laughs> nice work, Multiplay, and all of you who played in the tournaments. Next, where would Minecom be without our amazing agents? These are volunteers who come year after year. It's... I think you guys appreciate them. If you're an agent, stand up so everyone can see you. If you yeah, are an agent this weekend, and you wow. helped make mine You guys, really. These are people who donate their time to make sure that the rest of you have the best experience possible. And multiple agents have come 
and been at Minecon before. Did you know, Vu, that we actually have a mom who came to Minecon with her son in a previous year? Mm -hmm. He kind of decided to, he outgrew Minecraft, and she still came to volunteer because she had so much fun. So that's, that's pretty awesome. That's dedication. <laughs> Also, I was really impressed by the volunteers' dance skills last night in the yeah, show. Yeah, seriously. That was... I, I, Let's give a round of applause just for the dancing, dancing. from the Asians <laughs> last night. I feel now it's a contest to see how tired we can make everyone's hands. Next, our panelists and presenters who also come and bring so much of the content of what Minecon actually is. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Like to see all of the great talks, the various things that people have brought here with the creativity from the community to share with you all. So thank you, all panelists and presenters. Panelists, stand up. Let us give you a round of applause. <laughs> Amazing work. That was a good applause. I think they like them. Next, for those of you here who were here last night to celebrate our live show with us, yes. we had Cirque Bijou, who put on, I mean, you know, every Saturday night for Minecon, we've always done something. Usually it's been some sort of theme park, but this time we wanted to just have everyone together in the same room and do something together. And I think that they really did an amazing job. I asked for one main thing. I said, I would really like there to be fire in the show. And I think they delivered, right? So a big round of applause for Cirque Bijou. Next, the music throughout Minecon has all been provided by Approaching Nirvana and like, it, it felt as right as it could be. It's great. Thank you, Approaching Nirvana, for your music. I do have a cheat sheet. I'm not texting while I'm up here, just so you know. Did not want to forget anyone. Next, I'd like to thank Element Animation for that. I, that was the greatest opening trailer ever for Minecon. Also, I have to say, it's quite a unique challenge for them to be using this type of screen size and just to be able to render that large of a video. They did such an exceptional job. We, so we may well see that again at the end. Just and I, I believe they time. had asked you not to call them up. They did, so. We won't. No, we won't. <laughs> uh, next, I'd really like to big a big thank you to all of our exhibitors. They bring a lot of the physical content to Minecon. They create games for people to play. They give people all kinds of different experiences that you wouldn't have otherwise. So all of our exhibitors, thank you so much for being here. Let's give them a big round of applause. And our indie developers. We had 24 indie developers who brought their games for people to play. Who got to go to the indie stage and play something? Nice. Oh, that's so awesome. They were great, they were excellent, and I hope you all had a good time. Thank you, guys. Next, I'd like to thank Microsoft, our new partners in all of this, and they have helped us to continue our tradition of Minecon in a way that makes it just as real, but bigger and better than ever. And so thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> this one's an easy one. We'd really like to thank you, the attendees. I mean, without you, I would be just standing here talking to an empty room. It would be super weird. And we'd have no fun whatsoever. None. So thank you guys. You also won us the Guinness World Record, right? Everybody, thank you. Thank you so much. And to those of you who couldn't be here, who are watching from home on the live stream, which over the last number I heard was over 1.5 million people, which is pretty amazing to thank our community at large just for loving us enough to help us have this event. That's so 
Oh, hi, everyone on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Last, well, this person is, we, we need to have a little bit more of a thank you than usual. So I think before we introduce this last person, we'll play a little video. Yeah, I'll give you some context for why he's so awesome. And then we'll bring him up here. I had made one tree for the barnyard in Florida, in Orlando, in 2013. And, uh, you know, when I'm in the game, I really love the fact that as you walk around the trees, you can see through them, as opposed to, you know, it being like just a solid graphic of pixels. And I thought that that was an amazing thing that the guys at Mojang did, so I was like, I want to create that in real life. So I came up with the idea of making the welded steel frame with chicken wire and then spacing the leaves out. Like, even when we're working on them, people are like, don't you need to put more leaves? I'm like, no, I want to see through them, so it's just like the game. So I made one for Florida, and we had it in, in the barnyard display. And everyone loved it so much right then and there. I was like, next time we do a Minecon, I want to make a bunch of trees, like a forest or something. Well, now it is next time in Minecon, and uh, we've made 24 trees. And decided that since we're in London, instead of doing a forest, we would do kind of uh, the tree line lanes like you would find inside London. So we have Big Ben in the middle, and then these four avenues that divide up the different quadrants of the con floor. So. The difference between doing one tree and doing two 24 is that each tree has 45 surfaces that need to get covered by leaves. With 24 trees, that makes 1,080 surfaces we had to cover. Every surface gets 8 to 12 leaves, so it ended up being over 20,000 branches of leaves that we had to bring in to do this. It took months to put all these things together. But uh, I don't know. I think it looks really cool. Hopefully you guys think it's worth it. Please welcome to the stage, Greg Aronowitz. Hello, Mr. Greg. So this guy, how long did you live in the, in the new forest with the ponies where multiplayer resides? The magical ponies of new forest. I came to prepare for Minecon in April. <laughs> Greg so I've been here since April. And where's your home? Los Angeles. <laughs> so Greg has it was been a long, here walk. a long, long time preparing to make Minecon that amazing. I think next year, if we have 10,000 people again, you could use each of us and just, we each have two branches, we put them in the trees. Just divide up the math. That's Super part of quick. the thing, you get your ticket and a branch. A ticket and a branch, <laughs> that's perfect. So. What was the inspiration behind this year? Because we saw even bigger and better things than previous Minecon. Yeah, well, one of the things that I noticed when uh, I was in Florida, you know, everyone really liked the tree, and we had all the exhibitors, all this stuff was going on, but everything was very low. So we had this mass of people in a hall, but the ceiling was all empty. Like, when you looked up, it was empty. So I was like, right then and there, I decided next year, really want to, like, build big, tall things. And then I was figuring because we were in London, Big Ben would be awesome. And then talking to you and Junk Boy and everyone, just the theme of exploring the biomes and like kind of being like an Indiana Jones running around and seeing the different places. So that's what brought the temples into it. So it became a very like kind of ancient map that we were in. And I mean, who saw Big Ben with a dragon wrapped around it? That was great. Yeah, that, that simply came from, you know, you guys love this game so much and we love you so much. So we want to make sure when you walk in and see that centerpiece, that it is bigger and better every year. So last year, last time we had Steve and, and the wolf and it's like, what is bigger and cooler than that? It's like, how about Big Ben with an ender dragon? So what can we expect for next Minecon then, Greg? <laughs> What's bigger than Big Ben with an Ender Dragon? There's wrapped ideas around happening it? already, but we'll have to wait till next time. Okay, sounds good. No Please, spoilers. No spoilers. Give Greg a huge round of applause for bringing Minecraft into real life. And thank you so much to my crew, everyone yes. that helped out. All the crew has been here just as long as Greg. So thank you to his crew too. Thanks, guys.
So yesterday, it was a lot of fun walking around and talking to people, so I thought, why not do that again? So I'm gonna walk down this aisle. Anybody wanna say what their favorite part of MineCon was? Anybody, anybody? Uh, how about you, sir? I gotta say, my favorite part of MineCon is just being around this many awesome Minecraft fans. Woohoo! I can get behind that. That sounds awesome. It was quite incredible. Okay, let's see. You are jumping so high. What was your favorite part? Everything. Okay, everything. That works for me. Very good. Let's see here. Yes, sir. Well, for me, the thing is, I, uh, I work in a primary school, and um, it's really... Um, where, where, I, where I'm from, the schools I've worked in, I haven't really met many people who, um, who, who know about things like Minecraft EDU, and it's so nice to meet other teachers and educators who are doing such a great job bringing so many cool things with Minecraft to schools, which is as it should be, gaming in education. It's great. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. I haven't been... I haven't been uh, over this way before, so let's see. Do you want to say something? Meeting all the YouTubers. Oh, can we give our YouTubers a huge round of applause? <laughs> there are so many of you who love them so much, and there are so few of them, and they spent their entire weekend being on panels, talking to people, being at meet and greets. We're just so, so thankful for how amazing they are. So let me see here. Let's see. Anybody else over here? This is a quiet section. OK, let's see here. Let's go to you. Yes, sir. Hi, Lydia. Hi. All the people here, can we get priority for the next MineCon for tickets? Ooh. Uh, <sighs> Mr. Boo Booey, can that be arranged? Boo? Boo's hiding currently. He's <laughs> hiding from your question. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anybody over here? Let's see. I'm going to call on someone who doesn't look like they want to be called on. So how about you, sir? What's, what's been the best part of this MineCon for you? Uh, is, well, spending it with lovely girlfriend here. Aww. And speaking of which... <laughs> Emma, will you marry me? say the same thing you originally were raising your hand for now, but how are you feeling, Miss Emma? I'm feeling slightly embarrassed. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm feeling really loved at the same time. Aww. Sweet baby. <laughs> I, I really love being an ocelot for the weekend. <laughs> an engaged ocelot now. Give them a huge round of applause, Rob and Emma. I'm sorry, guys. I can't top proposals, so I'm going to just keep walking. I'm going to keep walking back to the stage. Oh, yeah. So we had what I think was one of the best weekends, well, it was the best, one of the best weekends of my entire life, and probably one of the best weekends of a lot of yours. And what we decided to do is make a montage of how amazing this weekend was so we can remember it one last time before we all head out and hit the road. So let's roll this amazing montage, please.
I have the Mojang team up here with me on stage, and we didn't want to forget to tell you that they have done a ton of work to make MindCon amazing. But more than that, we're just so thankful to get to have all of you who love something that we get to work on all the time. How was MindCon for you, Jens? It was excellent. I had a lot of fun. Would you say the best one yet? It's definitely the best one. Definitely the best one yet. We will, we will put that quote. From our entire team, we are so thankful to have all of you here. We can't wait to see you at the next MindCon, which will be somewhere at some time. That's all we're telling you. <laughs> But we decided to close off the ceremony with our amazing video from Element Animation because it's the last time you'll ever get to see it on a screen this big. And we hope that you continue enjoying London, travel safely, and thank you so much, MineCon 2015! <laughs>